Well, the, the music you make with Bastard is quite um, intricate and, and uh, detailed, I, I would say. So, so, <laughs> so where did this, um, why is it so um, elaborate, I, I would say? That's just what we all kind of dig on, you know, um, the challenge, you know. Uh, my old band, Lethargy, uh, was extremely challenging like that, you know, lots of crazy, it was like early 90s when we got together, Lethargy, you know, and uh, I was into a lot of, like, death, human album had just come out, and it was really technical, and that band Cynic had come out, and that was super tech, and Gore Guts, and there was a bunch of bands that came out, you know, atheists that were, like, really technical metal, you know, and they were really pushing themselves uh, in that way. Human Remains was another one of those bands that was super... Just uh, you know, odd time signatures and weird drumming, you know, and just really interesting stuff going on. It was a progressive style of of, of heavy metal, basically. <coughs> and um, so that's sort of where it comes from, I guess, you know. And uh, the love for like prog rock too, like Old Genesis and King Crimson and Yes and just Mahavishnu Orchestra. The list goes on and on. And jazz too, you know, John Coltrane. And, I don't know, there's something about it that, uh, I don't know, we, we, we like it to be difficult in some way. Why do you do, do you want to challenge yourself? Well, why, why is it that? Uh, I guess it's that thing that's in humans that pushes you to evolve and, you know, otherwise all this stuff wouldn't exist, you know, if no one wanted to challenge themselves, <laughs> you know. Uh, well, the, you push yourself to to uh, the next level on the on the previous album as well because you're singing a lot more. Um, right. Yeah. How, how difficult is it to to combine the, the drumming, which is quite uh, intense, I would say, and then singing? It's pretty. Well? It's it's uh it can be a challenge at times, you know, but I pick my moments wisely. I think, you know, and I, and I won't commit to it unless I know I can pull it off. You know, so. And these are all, uh, I may imagine that you become more involved in the songwriting process as well? Or was it always something very collective? And I've always been as involved as I can be, you know. I've never really wanted to be the drummer that sat back. And I mean, I have ideas, so I present them as, as best I can, and if the guys like them, then they like them, you know. So uh, we're all in it together, and you know, there's no, like, band leader, you know. Um, well, the, the band has been really successful. You won numerous awards, and um, I saw you on Letterman. And it's it's something that doesn't happen very often to to heavy metal bands. Can you explain why? Why? You know, or, or I have no idea why. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Is it is it a, a good feeling, or do you really, don't re, don't you really pay attention to to the those kind of things. Well, it's always good when someone likes it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's a good feeling. Okay. But I don't pay too much attention to it. Well, the, yeah, I was going to say, is it important what... Unfortunately, uh, I'm more wrapped up in if someone doesn't like it, you know what I mean? That what? gets more attention from me. Can you give me an example? Oh, uh, I don't know. Do, do you go online a lot to see what people say about the band? Do, uh, I try not to, but, you know, it's inevitable. Sometimes you come across stuff, you know, it's like, oh. Some guy said he wanted to shoot me in the head if I played one more from Phil or something like that. I was like, man, shoot me in the head. How do, how do, how do you deal with these kind of things? Or you just, just brush it off and then don't care? Yeah, you just brush it off. But, you know, it hurts. No, <laughs> I don't care. Uh, it's just the extreme to want to kill someone. Just don't, just turn off the CD. Mm -hmm. well, do, do you get this a lot, that there's... Um well, not tension, but uh, there's uh, this interaction with the audience, and is that important to you? An interaction with the audience? Well, yeah, in, in, the, not, like in not, a live not setting, just, or? not just in a live setting, but in general with with uh, with fans. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I I enjoy interacting with them. You know, I like to meet the people that are because we're connected, I guess somehow through the music. So, you know, I like to be available to answer questions for them or talk to them about whatever they got going on. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, uh, thank you. Yeah, no problem.